Hello friends, this is Dev Priya and you are welcome to Nunia Sir's English classes. Today we will continue with our chapter that is Physical Features of India. It is second chapter of Geography Book of Greed 9 and it is part 5 of this chapter. In this video we will study 4th and 5th major physiographic divisions of India and they are the Indian Desert and the Coastal Plains. So we will start with the Indian Desert. The Indian Desert is also known as Thar Desert. The Indian Desert lies towards the western margin of the Aravli Hills. Now in the map we can see Aravli Hills are here. And to the west margins means to the west of Aravli Hills, Rajasthan is there and in Rajasthan Thar Desert is there. Undulating sandy plains covered with sand dunes. Now in Thar Desert like up and down and the wavy sand plains are found and in those plains are covered with sand dunes means small mountains formed by sand like this in picture we can see small mountains formed by sand they are sand dunes this region receives low rainfall and it is below 150 millimeters streams appear during the rainy season and never reach sea like Thar Desert, it receives very low rainfall. Rainfall is very low and if it is there, so it is below 150 millimeters. The streams, they will only appear during the rainy seasons. Means rainfall, when it will be there, only then we will be able to see streams, water streams. And they, those rivers also, they are not able to reach sea because as we know, it is very hot or the high temperature in Thar Desert, so some water it will evaporate as water vapors and some it will seep down in sand. So Luni is the only large river in this region and in this region we can see the large river and that is only Luni. It has arid climate with low vegetation cover. In the Thar Desert it has very harsh climate, very arid climate and with that climate Vegetation cover is very low. Vegetation is not in that much amount like we are having or in northern plains it is there. It is very low. So now what is Barchans? So another important feature of the Indian desert it is Barchans. They are crescent shaped dunes found in Thar desert like this shape or we can say half moon shape. It is known as crescent shape. And when sand dunes, they are found in this shape in Thar Desert, they are known as barchans, like in the picture we can see. And how they are formed? When wind blows, it carries small and fine particles of other sand dunes and it will deposit them in this shape, like this, in crescent shape. And from in front, they will be cut like this. There will be a cut like this. So they form barchans. So this was all about the Indian desert. Next is the coastal plains. So stretch of narrow coastal stripes at the margins of peninsular plateau. As we have studied peninsular plateau is here in India. So st stretch of narrow coastal stripes like the black part we can see it is stretch of narrow coastal plains. These are the coastal plains and this one on the east. So these stripes run along the Arabian Sea on the west. On the west as we know Arabian Sea is there. So west coast it run along the Arabian Sea. On, and on the east Bay of Bengal is there. And the eastern coast it runs along Bay of Bengal on the east. Now we will see differentiating points between them. So first western coast. It is narrow plain sandwiched between the western ghats and Arabian Sea. As we know, like this is India. Here western ghats are there, they are continuous. And over here Arabian Sea is there. So the plain sandwiched between, which is found between western ghats and Arabian Sea, the Arabian Sea, it is known as western coast. It is found between western ghats and the Arabian Sea. Now eastern coast. The coastal area is wide and level along the Bay of Bengal. Like this is Bay of Bengal. Over here Bay of Bengal is there. 
and eastern coast they are discontinuous and irregular now rivers which originates from peninsular plateau they form delta before they fall in the bay of bengal so here the area and the plain area it is very wide and it is of level along the bay of bengal but the western coast it is narrow plain and eastern coast it is wide now western coast it consists of three sections and they are konkan kannad plain and malabar coast so now like this is western coast from mumbai to goa like from in this region a coast is there so that is known as konkan coast from mumbai to goa now in karnataka around this region this plain is known as kannad plain now this kannad plain this name is derived from the language which people speak in karnataka that is kannad so kannad and kannad plain so this is known as kannad plain next is in the south kerala this coast is known as malabar coast now let's see eastern coast like this is eastern coast it consists of two sections and they are the nadan kirkar and the koromandal coast so at the from tamil nadu it is known as koromandal coast now from this up to orissa it is known as nadan kirkar so eastern coast nadan kirkar and koromandal coast now western coast river on western coast forms estuaries like this is a river which is flowing in from before it will fall into the arabian sea or in any other ocean this will form estuary means it will directly it will fall into the ocean so it will form estuaries so rivers like narmada and tapi they form estuaries now in the eastern coast rivers such as the mahanadi the godavari the krishna and the kaveri form delta on eastern coast like here bay of bengal is there and these are the river which originate from peninsular plateau and before they uh, fall in the bay of bengal they form delta means a finger like projection like this is river which is coming and before falling into the bay of bengal it will distribute its water into small water streams it is called delta finger like projection so rivers such as the mahanadi the godavari the krishna and the kaveri which fall in bay of bengal they form delta so it was all about the indian desert and the coastal plains so hope you understood very well so like the video share it and don't forget to subscribe our channel so in our next video we'll study about the islands thank you